With this space-like structure, the Sustainability Pavilion is set to be a major centerpiece of Expo 2020. At 130 meters wide, this huge roof canopy is called Terra, meaning planet Earth, and it's all about the future of the world around us. The roof and surrounding energy trees are fitted with more than 1,000 solar panels that will provide some of the energy needed to host this massive event. We are trying to showcase how humanity can build buildings that do live in harmony with the environment around them, that do manage to grab the resources around, whether that's sun or even water. Expo 2020 has been delayed a year because of the pandemic. This pavilion is the first to be completed, and lucky residents and visitors are getting a glimpse inside this megastructure. Here they are brought on immersive and interactive experiences. A world full of forests, oceans, and the impact of overconsumption, all with the goal of helping visitors, particularly children, understand their impact on the environment. Through those immersive and interactive experiences, that's how we can really connect to people. That's how we can start conversations that matter rather than just giving information. Millions of visitors are expected to attend the event from this October to the end of March next year. Post-Expo, the pavilion will continue to inspire future generations and serve as an example of sustainable design with the building to become a science center in District 2020, a new community that will evolve from the Expo site. Ever since we set out to plan for this pavilion, we had the future in mind and we designed it to be a center for children and science that would remain after the expo. It's going to continue inspiring the future generation about actions that they can take around the environment. Surrounded by other sustainable structures and thought-provoking displays, Terra's visitors are until the 10th of April being given a glimpse of what is to come during Expo 2020. And through the Sustainability Pavilion, imagine what our planet could and needs to look like in the future. John Defterius, CNN, Dubai.